Trump news, following Joe Biden's attack, Sean Hannity's on-air mistakes reappear. Following Sean Hannity's statement that Joe Biden does not have the cognitive strength and ability to serve as U.S. president, a clip of Conway referring to Biden as Kellyanne Trump has gone viral on social media. Thursday saw the release of special counsel Robert Hur's investigation into allegations of sensitive document mishandling by Biden. Hannity was speaking in response to this. Court proceedings against the president would reveal a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly guy with a weak memory, the report stated, after receiving an email from Fox News. Newsweek decided to contact Sean Hannity in hopes of getting a reaction. A Trump appointee named her argued that Biden should not face charges because he had cooperated with investigators and there was not enough proof to prove his guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. On the other hand, her questioned Biden's mental capacity, which angered the White House. According to him, the president has no recollection of his time as Obama's vice president or the year his son Beau Biden passed away. Hannity said the report was quite devastating on his show, according to him. Biden's ensuing news conference was a frightening show of his cognitive degeneration. During the conference, Biden claimed, I know what the hell I'm doing, before seemingly confusing the presidents of Egypt and Mexico. According to Hannity, the findings regarding Biden's mental health should cause concern among all Americans, as they reveal shocking information about his cognitive state. In addition to the alarming facts about his handling of classified documents, the head of state of America, I don't mean this in a casual way, they're painting a picture of a president who, psychologically speaking, couldn't work as one of those pleasant Walmart readers, as he or she would have trouble keeping track of all the aisles and departments. Joe Biden is unsuitable to be president. The special counsel is stating loudly. A few of Axe's previously Twitter users, however, published a footage from March 2022 in which Hannity identified Kellyanne Conway who was the president's senior advisor under Trump as Kellyanne Trump following the broadcast of Hannity's monologue. Here on X, editor-in-chief Ron Filipkovsky of the self-proclaimed pro-democracy news site Midas Touch published a 12-second clip of what happened. More than 386,000 people saw it and 1,000 people shared it. Listen up, everyone. It's Kellyanne Trump. Filipkovsky exclaimed. Adam Parkomenko, a political strategist and former DNC National Field Director, released a video of the encounter from 2022 and said, Sean Hannity would detest if you retweeted this. There have been more than 326,500 views and 10,200 likes for this repost. As soon as Hearst report came out, the odds offered by bookmaker Betfair to re elect Biden in November grew significantly longer. From Hunters are perceiving Trump as the safer option with their money, said Sam Rospatom of Betfair, who spoke to Newsweek about how Biden has been a fairly major drifter in the election winner market. He added that this report, along with another memory lapse, has made punters even more wary of Biden. Many bettors are also showing interest in other possible Democratic candidates. Out of all the possible Democratic ticket replacements, former First Lady Michelle Obama and Vice President Kamala Harris have been the most popular. Ross Batom noted, 